another video and y'all before we even get started this is a little story time y'all about how your girl how your girl managed to get scammed but before you even get into the little juicy 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 gossip well not gossip but the juicy juicy facts y'all um comment like subscribe share subscribe again subscribe again subscribe again and um turn on those post bell notifications so y'all can keep up with the next video y'all my next video is gonna be motivational so y'all last time i did a motivational video y'all was feeling the girl y'all was feeling that so i'm gonna do that again because you know some of us need a little extra boost in life but we about to get into this video y'all because it gets really 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 crazy y'all gonna really be looking at me like how how so here we go into this video so in order for me to get y'all this story i have to go all the way back into my um email to pull up these receipts you know never delete the receipts because you know just in case things come up and you got to pull out what was talked about what they said they was going to do da 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 da, da etc okay so in order for me to make this video efficient for y'all i have to go all the way to 2017. so we're gonna pause there and we're gonna backtrack back in may of 2017 i was attending northern illinois university where i came across a friend named tayana now tayana is nothing bad in this story she's she's my friend she came across this application or whatever it was at the time to become an America's Next Top Model. My goal, my dream, my aspiration in life is to be a model, a fashion blog, anything that could put me in front of a camera, baby, I'm all in it, I will do it. Hence why I started a YouTube channel. I'm comfortable with the camera though. So, you know, when she told me about this application for, um. America's Next Time Model, I'm like, oh my God, let's do it, me and her together. So we did the application, y'all tell y'all within 24 hours, me and her both got accepted. Hmm. No shade at anything, but from that point, I should have known, like, hold on, that's a little bit sketchy. Me and you both get accepted within 24 hours, like what? But okay. I was happy for the girl, me and her both happy. We like, okay, we finna get into this YouTube. So off back, they had called me while I was in like my stats class or whatever. And I'm looking at my teacher like, hey, I got a call. Like I got to step out right quick. Cause I didn't answer this phone call because I knew the number. Well, I didn't know the number, but I knew I was supposed to be expecting a call from them because they sent me an email sent it to be ready to receive a call. I asked her when I stepped out of class, and I'm like, is this Jalen? I'm like, yes, this is Jalen. This is this is she. This is her. She is here. And they like, you know, we went over your pictures. So we have to send them pictures of us, like seven pictures of us or whatever. Some headshots, body shots, not no swimsuit or anything like that. Just like in your everyday clothing or whatever. They want to see you in your natural state. And they was like, we saw your pictures and we are interested in your application so let's get to moving forward another pause too it's kind of like hmm just thinking back in retrospect like why were y'all so aggy on like everything have to been have to be done so like now 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 but during at that time okay i'm like shoot okay this is real because y'all consistent y'all want me to get started now so let's get it going y'all they told me to set up some login stuff, you know, basically on this login page, I was able to apply to any show that I wanted to be on. So-called, supposedly at least, it was like um, Naked and Afraid on there, Big Brother, different type of reality shows used to come on back then that I don't even see playing no more really nowadays. But I was able to apply for those shows too, if I wanted to. But I had thought that it was kind of funny that I made this whole login or whatever, but America's Next Top Model wasn't even on the list, wasn't even on the list of shows that I could apply to. I 
message them like, I don't see America Next Time Model, but before they got to me, I was thinking, okay, well maybe America's Next Time Model is not on there yet because the season hasn't started and they're trying to get ready for the season or whatever. So I just emailed them. They had emailed me back, y'all. I promise y'all, they were so consistent from the first day they called me up until the point when I sent them money. When I sent the money, y'all, I didn't hear not a peep from them. So I had did a login, y'all. They had me do this whole home video. This whole. home video explaining why I want to model my my goals and what I can bring to the table describe my personality I put all this effort into this video and like shout out to my mama because like we were literally putting our sweat and hard work into this video she was making sure I was getting it right looking nice etc I sent them the video they was like, cool, we gonna review your video on five days, y'all. Like I said, I scrolled all the way to 2017. I still got these emails, y'all. So I'm gonna put them up in here so y'all can see. So I did my login stuff. I made me a um, bio telling who I am, what I was doing at the time, et cetera, my goals and stuff in life, dreams. After that, I did my live casting video. And then it got to the nitty gritty. It was time to talk about money. So when they called me, like, okay, well, we're ready to move forward with you. It's going to be $300. You have to pay that now or you lose your spot on the show. So I'm calling them. I'm like, yo, they on the phone. We need to send them this money. And I'm like, yo, pump your brakes. You know, we ain't even did a lot of research into this. We need to see what's happening. But I'm like, girl, you trying to block a blessing right here. You need to just get on board while they still interested in me. You know, let's, let's get it going. Let's go. And mama's was on the phone I put we did a three-way because my mom was gonna be the one paying the 300 paying the 300 dollars and so we get on three-way mama asked them all type of questions and y'all the thing is they were so professional they was answering everything to the T where you kind of like oh, okay well this ain't no scam they it sounds too professional but you got to be careful y'all because they'll be the ones they, you know, they'll get you all hyped up. So they got you in a vulnerable, gullible position. And all of a sudden, they're building you up to this excitement just to knock and crumble you down. So we sit through the 300. Dollars. And this $300, y'all, was supposed to cover transportation, food for the house. Um, I was going to have some pre- classes took and taken for me before they flew me to California supposedly and um this they were supposed to branch me with some photographers in the Chicago area so I can have these a portfolio with me for when I get flewed out or whatever so that never happened hmm that never happened but we sent them three hundred dollars y'all and I promise y'all never heard from them never heard a peep never got an email nothing so i started emailing them like um i sent 300 dollars, telling them what child told me this money supposed to be going toward no response okay so i'm like i'm gonna give it 72 hours and that's still too much because you got my money so i need to honestly be hearing by i need to hear from you in the same time span in which i message you not days later so I'm like, I'm getting them 72 hours, still no response. So I tried calling the numbers, they be at the bottom of their list, fake emails, whatever. No answer. So I'm like, hmm. So I emailed them again. And when they emailed me back, y'all, it was like I was talking to my friend. It was like they was they was talking to me in slang. Um, it was slang, misspelled words. Words, um, misuse. It was just not a professional formatting for a um, professional email that's supposed to be reaching out to people to be bringing them onto this big show or whatever. And I'm still thinking back, like <laughs> I'm still mad at Miss Tyra Banks because y'all, I was so blue. I was even, I was on my phone typing to Tyra Banks like, yo, you got people out here using your lip 
goofy show yeah i was calling it goofy at that time because that was just really 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 blue i was really 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 pissed so i'm like yo that goofy show out here scamming people getting their money she didn't even respond but it's like but i know you heard me and i know you felt my heat through that message because i was literally i was literally blown to the max y'all when i tell y'all how they called me every day making sure i was getting my videos done making sure i was taking my pictures making sure other people were in, were in contact with me basically everybody was supposed to be working together in order everybody on their production and was supposed to be working together to basically have me set up and ready for the first day of shooting in california none of this happened this was in 2017. y'all never saw me on no um show and what made this situation worse was when i found out i told everybody i told everybody everybody was so excited for me like oh my god you're gonna be on tv like this is like this is yo yo what you've been wanting like this is what you've been asking for now you're getting it so when you do it do it everybody gave me all this you this useful advice and then they see me still at home now they see me because i'll go to church or whatever and they like why why are you still here shouldn't you be gone like the next season the season about to start i haven't seen you in any commercials or you know how like when they do the whole the lineup people who they pick for the next show they're like i haven't seen you in anything now i'm looking at a now i'm looking like a dumb deer in headlights and i gotta explain like man i got bamboozled like how can you sit on the other side of the phone hear somebody genuinely express themselves like this is what i want to do this is my passion this is my goal i always dreamed of modeling you just hear them through the phone and yet you still sit there with a cold heart and still scam them like i cannot do that i'll be like you know what this is a scam like your story just really touched my heart and we're just gonna stop right here i don't even want to take your money like i'd rather them get that to me than take my money and then not say nothing else to me because y'all that really crushed me that crushed my spirit i literally put modeling on pause because it's just like you don't know who to trust you don't know who to talk to i started to believe like hell you gotta have connections to be able to model and stuff like i can't go to school for modeling like it's not a class for modeling and so i felt like i need to know somebody to get me where i'm going but then you don't want to trust nobody because you don't know who's really for you and who's not and it's just really blowing me now and i think back like dang how excited i was to be doing something that i thought would never happen to me and then i get so excited literally at an all time high and then be at an all time low because now they got my money and not responding back to me nobody said anything it was literally like just like silence yeah i was trying to call every number email and people was not saying anything back and just the fact that they had me go through all that all that just to pretty much say you've been bamboozled don't be so gullible they literally should have that in fine print at the bottom of these other emails they were sending me because like i just feel like it's really crazy that that happened to me. Like it's always, you always feel like you that would never be you to be in a position where you get scammed or anything happens to you. But when you in that position, it's just like, wow, like how did I not see that? But yeah, it's just really crazy too that how they were so precise in these emails. Like these emails in the beginning, literally, they was coming in every day telling me what I need to do, different steps to take. Um yeah, I'm gonna put the screenshots in there so y'all can just see what I'm talking about. Yeah, I was literally on it with them, like emailing them, like, yo, I sent my pictures in that you guys receive them. Um, I've been waiting to hear back from this. Um, do you guys have you guys heard anything? Y'all, they weren't saying nothing after that I sent them that money. And it's like my mama was trying to tell me too, but I'm like, girl, you don't know what you're talking about. But my, I guess mama had that feeling like, yeah, this ain't sounding too right. But at the end of the day, I've learned that if you want to be a model or anything, do not give, do not give anybody your money. If somebody wants to work 
with you as far as modeling and stuff go, they will pay for your way. They will do what it takes to get you in position. You will not be coming out of pocket for anything. Now, some of y'all might be saying, well, $300 is not a lot to be scammed, but that's a lot. Well, first of all, you're a college student and you ain't got it. And you thinking it's gonna get you somewhere and it gets you nowhere. That means $300 thrown down the drain. And it makes you question like, dang, like who can I trust out here? Like who do I talk to to be in a position to model or do what it is that I'm trying to do? It really is a discouragement to people like me who really get excited when they feel something big about to happen to them. And then your excitement is just like, like it just literally drops because of things as such like i still be like wow then you got scammed they have to having to explain that to people and stuff like that's crazy that was embarrassing like people were asking me, like when are you leaving and i'm like well i'm still waiting to hear on them i'm still waiting to hear from them people are like okay i can't wait to see you. i know you got it. i know you're gonna do it and then they still see me walking around they're like okay <laughs> When you're leaving, I know the season about to start, so it's about that time for you to be flying up out of here. But it never happened. I believe the, I don't, I don't believe, but the site was called realitytalent.net or something like or something like that. And the lady who messaged me, her name was Ellis Ross, I think. Her name was Ellis Ross and it was from realitytalent.net. I, I wish I could find the application that I signed up for. Dang, I don't even know why we even find the application that anymore. But it's just like they had me go through all these steps, talking to me every day, getting me excited, making me feel like I'm doing something bigger than myself. And then telling me like, we want you on the team. Like we want you, we got you. And we gonna have an interview set up for you, set up for you, letting us know who, who what models inspire you. You getting all butterflies in your stomach because you're so excited. And then they pull this. So now we'll just be like, how the heck do you even get on this show? Like, do you have to have connections to get on this show? Like, I would not mind even after this. <laughs> I would not mind still being on America's Next Top Model that would be lovely that would be a lovely thing for me it's just how do you how do you even get there now because i will i'm telling you one thing i'm gonna have to put somebody directly i'm not doing nothing through no computer no more with no applications or nothing like it's just see i might have to speak to somebody directly or i might have to do an application on a computer but it's just like since that situation happened i don't know which way to turn when it comes to actually doing my modeling because they really got me even though this was it is 2019 even though this was in 2017 it still just be like i can't believe i sent them money they was in contact with me every day and yet i never was on a season not one season of this show like you gotta be careful who you send your information to, who you send your pictures to. Make sure before you do anything, do your full, full, full research so you can't research it no more. Like make sure you are reading into this stuff before you dive in headstrong like I did. Like don't be so excited till you bl block out like reality. Like you have to be like, okay, I'm excited, but let me see what this is about. Or else you're gonna end up like me. However you want to take that, you can be scammed like me or you can do your research and not be in a position like me. You know, at first I was hurt, but now it's just like a building block, you know, like that happened. Okay. You can't keep getting knocked down by the second. Eventually something will give. So it's like, yeah, I was hurt in the beginning, but I'm good now. You know, I still just be like, wow, I got scammed. Like I never thought that that would be me, but I got scammed. Then I got scammed over something that I really wanted to do, but 
it's life you know it happens but y'all y'all have to really 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 do y'all research or else y'all gonna end up like me and being scammed over something that you would want to do it's not a fun place to be because you feel like your little dream to flush down the drain so don't be a uh, Jalen. don't be getting scammed because you so excited about stuff and not reading into stuff like pay attention to the little stuff pay attention okay because if you don't pay attention you're gonna end up like me but y'all to end this video y'all it's really just to let y'all know like people really do be out here scamming if you have a dream be careful what you sending information to who you talking to y'all for real because it could end up like my situation did and you don't want to be there so y'all don't forget to like comment subscribe share all that good stuff turn that post bell notification y'all and rock with me y'all i love each and every one of y'all all my new supporters all my subscribers that been here since day one y'all i know y'all seeing me gradually grow my editing is still a little um you can tell i'm a new youtuber let's just say that okay but we getting there so like comment subscribe 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 like share let somebody else know what you're seeing on this channel so maybe they might be interested and then we all growing together y'all and like i said my next video will be motivational if y'all want to hear anything y'all follow my social medias and just let me know what y'all want to see you know i want this to be a little fun little channel for all of us with story times vlogs etc so y'all um out